Hey there, it's Katrina Sawa here, the Jumpstart Your Biz Coach with jumpstartyourbiznow.com. And I'm doing a quick video tip training for you today. I want to do it on the topic of getting clients from free webinars and free calls that you might host, uh, whether it's on the phone or on a teleclass line or most likely these days on Zoom. Um, how do you really build your list and get more people into those calls so they can experience you? This is probably the single most important uh, free marketing strategy that I teach these days. And I've been teaching it forever, frankly, and doing it myself since, I don't know, 2005, okay? When I learned about this model and it's really actually very easy, but so many people put this strategy off. I see people spending money on Facebook ads before they do this. This is the thing you wanna do first before you invest any money in any kind of advertising or marketing. This is free, this is free you guys, okay? So what I'm doing here today, recording a video on my computer, I'm gonna share a couple of things. It might be five to 20, 10 minutes maybe. That's one way to do it. But I'm talking about an interactive call where you're gonna have other people on the line, you're gonna invite them and you're gonna do it for free because this is for lead generation, okay? And, and to get people to experience you. And they're not gonna, most likely, um, when you send people to your website and they've never heard of you before, what are the chances of them actually clicking and buying something? They're very, very, very low chance, okay? So stop trying to send people to a web page to buy something. If, if you're not a known person or you don't have an amazingly written, uh, copywritten page, sales page, because it's probably not likely. Also, you might also want to stop just relying on them hopefully signing up for a discovery call or a strategy session with you because less and less people are doing that as well right now because they've already been sold a gazillion times by other people in other strategy sessions and they're about <laughs> they're they, they're less likely to just come onto a call with you one-on-one -on -one if they don't know you like you trust you or have experienced you in some way this is why you want a bunch of free stuff on your website like checklists and free guides or ebooks or whatever recordings and things like that but what I'm talking about is the one strategy that you can do. You can do this weekly, you guys. I'm doing a series weekly right now where it's free for lead generation. And there's many reasons to do this. You could just do it for leads. And so people opt in and sign up for your free call and you get them on the email list and then you can continue to market to them. Or you can do it as preview calls for a bigger thing like an event or something like that. So my event is at the end of April. It's the Jumpstart Your Biz. Uh, virtual experience. It's a really big, uh, not big, it's up to 100 people. So I keep it small on purpose. But the point is that it's a comprehensive event where you're going to learn a lot about a lot of the things you need to do to build a consistent revenue generating business as an entrepreneur. Uh, but these calls that I'm doing in March and April are preview calls. So what you do is you take a little bit piece of the content that you might share at your event, if that's the strategy that you're using, and pull it out and teach a little piece of that in a free call and then open it up for Q&A or some laser coaching. And you can do that, oh, you can do that every week if you want to for lead generation. You're not gonna be giving away the storm. People aren't gonna come to every call. They're not gonna learn how to do everything that you teach. Uh, I don't care if it's health stuff or, or you are a copywriter or you're a massage therapist, you can do these kinds of get to know you calls, okay? So you can host calls where you just have a discussion. Let's talk about your love life. Let's talk about your health. Let's talk about whatever, right? Let's talk about, um, I don't know, your spirituality and the universe. Let's, whatever topic you think are good for the types of prospects you're looking for, the types of ideal clients, then those are the topics that you want to bring to the table. But do it in their words, not yours. Like if you have certain lingo that you use, don't put out the title of that necessarily. So let me show you a couple things. 
So what do you need in order to make sure that you can get people to opt in for these kinds of calls? Well, first thing to do is come up with a list of topics that you're going to train on. You don't have to do them weekly. You can do them monthly. But if you need a lot of leads and you're in your newer in your business or you need to ramp up and, and build a newer list or or get a bigger influx of people to talk to, then you might want to consider doing it for a week, uh, a weekly in maybe a month and do a special series or something like that, right? So come up with the topics and then you build web pages. So you either need one web page where you put all the topics and they can opt in for all of them and then just you'll keep sending them the login and the Zoom links or whatever. Uh, for each call and they can come to whichever ones they want or you can have a separate login or opt-in for each and every call. That's up to you. I like the first option because it's less work <laughs> in the back end on the website. Okay, so I'm going to show you and share my screen what I mean by that. So here's the, the Jumpstart Your Biz training series that I'm doing during March and April. And so we've already had four calls out of the six. So it's just a simple page on my website, really. And it's uh, I put it in the drop down even under my trainings page. Uh, and so I made a quick little image over on Canva, did that on Canva in a couple minutes. OK, and so this is one of the images we're using on social media to share it. And uh, so a little brief explanation of why I'm doing it. Uh, and then I have the topics, the times, the dates come to this call and learn, right? And so we tap all the bullet points. Uh, and then I have an opt-in box, which asks for all, more information than just your name and email, frankly. If I'm gonna do some deep dive trainings with people, then I'm gonna ask for more content, contact information. I wanna be able to call people and follow up with them and mail them something, and we do. And so you don't just wanna ask it if you're not gonna use it. So I highly recommend that's a great follow-up thing. So pick some topics that work for your your thing. You can post, you can put them all out here if you want to with the dates, or you can just do one at a time, and then they keep having to come back. It's up to you. I like to make it easy on myself and my team to make it just put it all out here so people can see it. And then once they're done, what I did was I put like previous classes here. And now, and this is the same description I was using to come to the call is now here, click here to get access. So now what we did, my team actually built separate pages for each one of those recordings and we're selling them for just a low price of $25 to $27. So we have now a sales page with the same description, mind you. So it's a real turnkey system we've got going, right? 27 bucks. Uh, and then we have a different image for each topic, as you can see. And all they have to do is click here and they can go and buy it, see? And they can check out, all right? So that's one thing you can do. Now, granted that these can be for sale on your website forever and ever and ever if you want. They will products that, trainings that you can actually have people buy anytime. You can do a special sale on them later. You can keep promoting them throughout the, the year. It's totally up to you. But I suggest you record everything. And then if it's a super meaty call or a really good training of whatever it is you did, it could be a meditation, it could be whatever, a visualization call, it could be an experiential thing, it could be just a Q&A, okay? But you might sell it, so why not? I mean, I sell it for a low price, even though it could be for more. I have higher price programs, but I just wanted some easy to buy little things that um, they don't, you know, I don't rely on this to make my money. This is not where I make the most of my money, but I'm just showing you something that you can do. Now, if you're gonna do this, when they sign up for this thing, then you also need a, a thank you page. So you can, so this is the page once people opt in where they go, and they can see the schedule again and they can get the Zoom link and uh, they can also, I put testimonials on here because I want them to sign up and, and work with me or come to an event or go to the next thing, right? And so I have uh, some testimonials in here for people to realize how I work with people and all those previous calls that I did in this series are also on this page with a clickable link to that sales page again. So this is something that once it's done, 
it's easy to mimic or clone again if you want to do it later in the year, for example. But please don't forget, notice the arrows, please don't forget to put some kind of call to action, okay? So my call to action for my free series is to go to my event at the end of April. And so I have events two to three times a year. So you can always just go to the events page of my website and find what's coming up. But the point is, I'm trying to show you, don't forget this part on your thank you page, please. Don't forget to tell them what you want them to do next. And then of course I have the other options too and some more testimonials. So that's just an example of what to do on your thank you page, okay? So you'll have an opt-in page for your free calls. You'll have a thank you page for the free calls. And you'll have, if you're, if you're gonna give the recording for free, then you might put the recordings on this thank you page as well. I chose not to give the recordings for free on this one because I'm selling the recordings. But in the beginning, when I used to do all this stuff, I used to give all the recordings for free too, okay? Um, and then make sure if you are gonna sell stuff to put little sales pages on your website. My sales pages aren't that big a deal. They're just some testimonials and a short blurb. Okay, and then a button to buy. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you that so you knew how easy this could be to, to get something going like this. Don't overthink it. I mean, if you just never know who's gonna come and how many people are gonna come. If you have a whole bunch of different topics you can talk on, then, do a whole bunch of different topics and by marketing those and, and sharing them and inviting people to attend, you'll see who's interested in which topic more. So you'll perhaps also be able to determine what extra programs you need to create based on the attendance of the topics that you've offered. So it is a great research tool as well as a lead generation tool. I hope this was helpful, you guys. I would love to invite you to my calls. Of course, please uh, get signed up at jumpstartyourbiznow.com. You can look under the trainings page for the free trainings or the events page, they're there as well. And I look forward to serving you any way I can to help you grow your business into a consistent revenue generating machine.